Hey, it's Max here. I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to try and clarify a few of the acronyms around what we call drones. Now, a drone is a colloquial term. It's pretty generic. It pretty much means anything remotely operated and unmanned. Now, when you're dealing with the Federal Aviation Administration, they are currently controlling all unmanned aerial systems, UASs, that are operated in by civilian operators. But UAS is an FAA or Federal Aviation Administration term. It was developed specifically for general aviation or civilian aviation. The military has its own vernacular. It has UAV, Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, and it has a very clearly defined set of parameters to be a UAV. It has to have a mission, it has to have a payload, it has to have a certain degree of autonomy, it has to have a ground data link so it can be controlled by the ground, and of course it has to have a recovery system. Smart weapons are not drones. If it goes one way, it's ordnance. The phrase uh, RPV, remotely piloted vehicle, is also a fairly generic phrase that was used early on. It actually was first used, I believe, with Navy submarines, remotely piloted drone submarines back in the 1950s or 60s and uh, it sort of caught on. It was a sort of a generic catch-all term. But what's happening is the technology is, is changing so rapidly that the, the nomenclature and the acronyms are having trouble keeping up with it. And uh, it's very easy to get lost in things like FPV, first pilot view, which simply means you see things as the pilot on the aircraft would see them. And one other quick thing I'll touch on real quick is uh, automatic versus autonomic. A aircraft or drone that is pre-programmed from the ground that simply flies a predetermined path and comes back is essentially considered automatic. But if you put logic in there and sensors so that it can read the situation and make some sort of a decision, such as if you hook the computer to the weather radar and it can figure out to go around bad weather, now it has a certain onboard decision-making ability and that is autonomous or at least semi-autonomous. So those two distinctions are actually pretty important because you have the automatic drone which is pretty much dumb and just goes where it's told and if there's a brick wall in the way it'll fly into it and then you have the autonomous drone which can find its way out of trouble. So I just want to cover those things real briefly. There's a lot more to it, but uh, that's just the high level view to help sort things out of the haze a little bit. Hope it helped. This is Max. Have a nice day.